Justin Snyder had stated earlier that we got many letters this year from many students. Um, so we did. We got many letters from many students about their advisor. Yet tonight's winner stood out. There were many reasons, but the biggest one was that almost every person on our campus that was involved in student life wrote a letter about how this advisor has touched their life. From helping students find internships and jobs, to her teaching them how to park, and to just being a source of encouragement and an ear to listen, she has many things to the students at Dakota County Technical College. Please join me in welcoming Nicole Melman to the stage. This award means so much to me because it, it really starts with my students and uh, some of them who are here tonight. Um, Andy, our student senate president, and uh, when they said I taught him how to park, I swear I was off the clock. And it was with my car, so uh, I, can, I continue to be amazed by your growth, and I'm so proud of you. Uh, Stephanie, our Vice President, I admire your kind heart and your ability to build relationships with others. Our Secretary and newly elected MSCSA Treasurer, uh, Michael Doyle, your innovative and forward-thinking ways benefit everyone you meet. Um, and Ben Jackson, his passion for students is um, one that I have rarely seen. and. Um, my days just aren't going to be the same without Ben rattling at the Student Life Center door every morning at 7.30, waiting to start the day. So um, thank you to the entire Senate, our college president, Dr. Thomas, for always supporting um, our students and our student life programs, and my colleagues and friends at DCTC, Anna Voigt, who is my co-advisor, which many of you know in the room, and hopefully she's turning red right now because she's as nervous as I am. Um, and finally, thank you to the MSCSA, to the executive staff in the cabinet, there truly is um, not a better organization advocating on behalf of the students of Minnesota. So thank you.